So, Destiny 2 Lightfall has been out for a while now, and I wanted to go ahead and showcase any of the new techs that were released or old techs that are in the game if you wanted to learn how to speedrun or do any of that. So, here is a list of techs that I'd recommend you learn on Warlock. I will be doing more videos on this uh, for each class, so stay tuned for those. I'm just revamping my old Warlock tech guide video and kind of adding in any new techs that have come into the game since then. To perform a Wellscape, what you're going to need to do is Heavy Attack, Jump, and Super all in quick succession. When you pull it off successfully, it should look like that where you get launched forward. If you mess it up, there is one of two ways it will look. Something like this, or something like this. Now, for both of these, this one means that you pressed it too quick, or you missed an input. This one means that you were pressing it too slow, so you were late on inputs in this one. Now, once you learn to successfully well skate, you can just go back to back and practice it. My favorite spot to practice it is in a Mayhem match on Eternity, since you have this whole straightaway and plenty of different ledges to go ahead and practice on. So the next tech up on our list is the ground line, and the way that is performed is by jumping, swipe, jump, super. Now, when successfully pulling it off, it will look something like this. Now, you can mess up, and I recommend using scroll wheel. That will help you try and hit it. But you can just sit here and do that for hours on end where you're placing your well. So this tech is very hard to learn. But with some practice and time, you can pull it off. You can also do a skate with the strand super. The inputs are the exact same as the well skate, being heavy attack, jump, and super. And it will look something like this, where you will use your super, but you can hit lines with it, just like this. And I believe you can also hit ground lines with it as well. And we're going to attempt that. Yes, you can. Just like that. The only downside is that it uses the super, which does suck, but you can get momentum off of it. Now, next up is mountaintop launching. Now, this is a great way to get quick height. Now, if you don't have heat rises, it will give you some height. And this is just a normal jump. You see, I instantly go to the max height of my jump relatively quick. Now, if I were to pop heat rises with it and do that, it will send me up very high. All you need to do for this is to quickly jump. Let me just quickly jump and shoot a mountaintop at your feet, giving you great height. A grenade fly is performed by using heat rises and finding any slanted surface. Now, all you need to do is run into it, oop, run into it and jump. This will carry your momentum upwards and you'll continue to carry that momentum. Sometimes on trickier ledges, it will cut off similar to this. Uh, I mean slopes, it will cut off, but if you have a more flat slope, similar to this, but going upwards, then you'll be able to fly straight up it using your grenade. I'll do it one more time for demonstration purposes, and straight up, just like that, and I gained all that height. Snap skating, which is still one of the more useless techs, is performed by having the snap melee on Warlock and slide jump melee, or it will slide jump pressing super button when you don't have a super. It will send you into an animation where it looks like you're putting your gun down, but you're gaining speed. You can pair this with an Icarus dash afterwards to gain some momentum, but if you have sword ammo, I would just recommend fake skating. So, for fake skating, what you're going to want to do is have a sword and have burst glide on. 
the inputs for this is to light attack, swap weapons, and swap back to the sword. So you'll barely even see it change. You just see my arms shift a little. But what it looks like is swipe, swap weapons, swap back, and activate jump. And when you do this, you'll get bursts of momentum because you're pairing it with the burst glide. And you're going to be able to traverse fastly through anything. You can also pair it with eager edge swipes to give you even more momentum. So my next tech up on the list is a combination of two techs. It is the grenade fly and the well skate. And I call this the momentum transfer. What you need to do is find a slanted surface and get a distance away from it, well skate into it, and Icarus dash. This will transfer your momentum upward and you'll be able to send yourself up and my favorite spot to practice this is inside of Garden Third Encounter. This is a very useful skip uh, if you're trying to do speedruns or trying to farm for gear when it's the weekly featured raid. This has a lot of different spots where you have to have mastery of well skate and of the momentum transfer. Now there's a couple of angles you can hit the momentum transfer here, but since I haven't practiced this in a while, I'm going to be missing this a couple of times. So let me go ahead and try one more time. There we go. And as you can see, when you hit it correctly, you get a ton of momentum upwards. And when you hit it incorrectly, you won't see any momentum. So running up here, I'm going to hit one more momentum transfer and you'll see and since i didn't hit that properly i'm not going to get as much height so i'm going to give that one more shot boom and i think it's because i'm holding my jump for too long so sometimes you're going to have to figure out am i doing my jump for too long or what angle do I need to hit that slope at? So this is the slope I'm trying to hit. And if I don't hit it properly, I'm not going to hit that momentum transfer. So let's try this one more time. There we go. I hit it. Boom, flying up. And boom. And that is how you do the momentum transfer. Just find any slanted surface and well skate into it and then Icarus dash as well. And even here, I could probably hit a momentum transfer off of this using a ground line. And yep, just like that, momentum transfer. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you found anything useful in this video, please like, comment, and sub. And the next guide I'm going to be making is for the Hunter Movement Guide. Thank you to my friend Alone, who has been editing and making the thumbnails for these videos. I really appreciate it, so give him some love down in the comment section and in the description. I will be leaving a link to his YouTube channel.